I ended up at Resorts World because it's so windy outside I had to go I had to take shelter you could not wear sunglasses you couldn't wear a hat and you could barely walk across the street so Resorts World is doing very well there's a convention across the street it's some kind of a nerd convention so I guess it's technology of some sort but it's definitely a nerdy one and I say that with respect because nerds I don't know a nerd that's uh, struggling look at this some older nerds in there Yeah, the most successful person in my extended family is definitely a nerd. And we get along great. If I've got a question about something, I always ask him. It doesn't matter what it is. Might be about a train track in Mississippi that caused some problems. He'll know about it. And this crap skin, this is still a dollar. One dollar. It's funny, it's it's just not that busy. But I live so close to this place, I hope it doesn't leave because the people that visit me love to play that game. And that's a great table because you got the people watching right out there where the mall area is. And the air is really good because it's just a few feet from that game. It's a non-smoking area. Of course, people don't always uh, obey that. That's the kind of people they are, though. Well, they got another barricade up here. What's this for? They did this the other day for, a, for another section, and I couldn't understand it. I'll get my producer to look into it. That's really not my uh, responsibility. I'm just the on-the-air talent. Everybody else pull, uh, rolls out the cables and all that stuff. You got 200 feet of cable they're following me with, because this is this is live. It's live as I'm recording it. Yeah, everything in here is live. This is not recorded. This is only a dollar. One dollar. It's only three seats. Normally they have six seats at these games. This is not, uh, statistically, it is not a good game. But it's a fun game. Because you're playing a dollar, you know? And you get three people and you get drunk and everybody's having a good time. Oh, we got to see this dog coming up. Let's see what he looks like. Oh, he's camouflage. I'm surprised I spotted him.
I mean, it is their carpet, but I wouldn't call it their carpet. I wish they'd let me vacuum this carpet. That would be awesome. I'd do it for free. As long as they didn't ask me to clean the toilets. I gotta draw a line somewhere. So they got that $3, none of your business craps right there. You know, that's not bad. I always look for the dollar ones. But the stupid thing about that is after a few drinks and 10 minutes later, all of a sudden I'm way over that $3 and $5 and $10. You know, just like all gamblers, we just get, get out of control. So the casino itself is not doing, I mean, it's not super crowded as you can see. But that bar up top with the, all the nerds in it, it was uh, definitely happening. That's probably open bar. That's why it was so crowded. That's really a big, big bonus for people come to Las Vegas and their, uh, the, the convention has an open bar somewhere. People just drink really, really fast for that two hours or hour and a half, whatever it is. And then they're wasted. And they can hardly even remember what they did after that. It's despicable and real fun. So they moved the arch, there it is. Some of y'all are old enough to remember that it was right there, straight ahead. It was right there at the end of this little blue runway, and now it's here. Which, uh, it's, it's more uh, out of the way, I guess, but it's kind of the uh, focal point of the casino in my opinion. I think you could walk through here and not see it now. But before, there's no way you wouldn't see it because if you went to the doghouse, it'd be staring you right in the face. There's the doghouse right there. That's kind of a focal point. So here it is. It's in sections and they can dismantle that pretty quick obviously. Well, I don't know about how quick, but they do it overnight, most likely. That's, that's the coolest uh, slot machine besides the fishing one in all of Vegas, in my opinion. They got the same one out there at S South Point. may have already said this one before but this crossroads kitchen um, I think it serves uh, you know fake fake meat beyond I call it beyond recognition meat because it's just plants uh, I think they stuffed real meat in there every now and then but anyway this this area right here very strange they had a counter right there and a uh, area where you walk through here and order like a fast food situation and then they had regular eating tables out here and all of a sudden I come back and I hadn't I had it was like five days later and it looks like this I swear I think they did it overnight the one thing about Vegas if it don't work get rid of it I mean, if the, can you imagine our divorce rate if they, if everybody thought like the casinos? It would be quicker though, I have to admit. So 
Sometimes you don't need to hang on. Sometimes you do. It's up to you. You make your own choice. Don't listen to me. But you can quote me if you want. Mm. All right. You got nothing to say about that. Yeah, all the uh, all the crowd right now is up in the front at that nerd uh, cocktail party. It's a classy looking poker room. I guarantee those chairs, they don't look like much. I guarantee you they cost a fortune. Because they gotta hold uh, really, really heavy people. I mean, you don't know if that chair is gonna a hundred pound person or a 400 pound person. They gotta, they gotta withstand it all. This uh, bar at the doghouse, where everybody would like to sit, has a $25 minimum if you sit, take one of those seats. So it's a good business move, there's no doubt about it. But, you know, for the rest of us that might want to sit and get our drinks for free if we play on that machine, ain't gonna happen. But at least it's only uh, $25. Yeah. And they got it. Their sign is provided by Bud, Bud Light. Awkward. Bad timing. I guess that Bud Light thing will probably blow over in another week. They'll have something else. Yeah, there'll be something else uh, to boycott. Oddly, Nike uh, escaped the boycott, and they were also supporting Dylan. Where's Randy's Donuts now open? Huh. I didn't see Randy's Donuts. I really don't want to see Randy's Donuts, to tell you the truth. That's between him and his doctor. Cod fish and chips, seventeen ninety five. I also have haddock. And a haddock sandwich. I don't know that that uh, fish does good on a sand on a roll on a sandwich. Uh, I don't think it does. I think uh, a fish, um, a, a firm, more firm fish without the breading, on a on a uh, sandwich with uh, tomato and and lettuce is better. 
because you bite into that cod that's got that panko or uh, tempura, that's tempura coating, and you get a lot of air, and then all of a sudden, bam, burn the hell out of your mouth. And you gotta go to the hospital and miss a lot of gambling. Yeah, it's a, it makes for a bad night. Don't forget this carpet. If you remember this carpet, you might win five dollars. But I gotta, I gotta make money first. So if you're not liking the video, you're not included in the in the contest. It's gonna be epic. That was the guy with the dog, and he doesn't have the dog. Oh, this would be my chance to get the dog. All I had to do is bump into him and get his room key, and I would be able to get his dog. Oh, and then I'd have to feed the dog, and yeah, they got they eat, they eat, they need dog food and veterinary care. Uh oh. She's excited. Uh-oh. She dropped an F-bomb on my video. Maybe YouTube won't find it. It's not made for kids, you know what I'm saying? Man, these nerds are really partying hard. Or they're doing a lot of talking, something like that. One or the other. Look how crowded it is. Yeah, they're doing good in there. The nerds are. All right, that's, uh, that's, I took the loop. Speaking of loop, I got another video about the loop. A second video about the loop. Might be too many videos about the loop.